guys, this is Sammy Classic Sonic Fan, and today I'll be doing a review of Wario Land Super Mario Land 3. And let's just say I didn't like this game at all. And you know what? Find out my entire thoughts on Wario Land Super Mario Land 3 in this review. Alright, guys. Alright guys, I'm going to do a freaking review of Wario Land Super Mario Land 3. First of all, what the frick? I mean, I felt no jubilation when playing this freaking game. This game is just freaking stupid. I mean, this game is just freaking horrible. I mean, what the frick? I mean, seriously, this game just gets everything wrong. It it doesn't even deserve to be called a freaking Super Mario Land 2 sequel. Because this is freaking not a Super Mario Land 2 sequel. This is freaking the exact opposite. This game is just freaking an embarrassment and a waste of time and money. This is just freaking stupid. And you know what? I'm going to do a freaking review of this game. I mean, seriously, first of all, look at the freaking title. Wario Land Super Mario Land 3. That doesn't even make any sense! I mean, what the frick? How is this, how is this a freaking Mario title? I mean, how is his name even in the title? He's just freaking stupid. He doesn't even appear in the game. It's called a Mario title, and he doesn't even appear in the freaking game. It's a Super Mario Land title. He's not in it. I mean, you freaking fricks say, oh, but he appears at the ending and freaking frick. Who gives a frick? All he does is pass by on his plane and steal the Princess Peach statue. That's all he does! Other than that, he plays no prominent role in the game. All he does is steal a freaking Princess Peach statue. That's just freaking stupid. I mean, seriously. I mean, this freaking not a Mario title. You play as Wario. Yeah, that's right, Wario. I mean, okay, I'm sorry, but isn't he supposed to be the antagonist? Not the protagonist. I mean, what the frick? I mean, seriously, Wario is basically just anti-Mario. I mean, seriously, I mean, why would we want to play as an anti-Mario? Everyone wants to play as the hero! Fricks! Why isn't this about Mario? Why isn't this about Luigi? I mean, all we get for Luigi is Mario is missing, and Wario gets mm, mm, gets to play the starring role in a Super Mario Land title. That's not freaking fair! He's not even Mario's brother. Anyways, this is just freaking stupid. And you know what? The title isn't even the bad part of the game. In fact, this game gets worse. Oh, so much worse! Let's start it off. First of all, let's just take a look at freaking the gameplay. So you're thinking, oh, it doesn't matter. It'll still play like a Mario title. Y you see that? That's where you all are wrong. This game plays nothing like a freaking Mario title. I mean, this doesn't even deserve to be called a freaking Mario title. I mean, this game is just a Mario ripoff, more like it. Well, okay, not a Mario ripoff since it's made by Nintendo, but I mean. <laughs> Seriously, and this game just has nothing to do with Mario. I mean, first of all, let's see. Frickin' when you jump on enemies, let's see. Oh, doesn't that automatically kill them? 
Nope! Not in this game! I mean, each, each enemy in the Super Mario Brothers series is mm, killed in different ways, well, at least most of them. But, of course, the main attack is jumping on an enemy or hitting them with a projectile. And, oh, but not in this game! Nope! Guess what you have to do? You have to freaking jump on them and then throw them. Throw them! That doesn't even make any sense! Isn't Mario supposed to be heavier than Mario? Then why doesn't he crush the enemies? That's just freaking stupid. And you guys say, oh, but Super Mario Brothers 2 was like that. I mean, seriously, why would you even compare this to that? I mean, first of all, Super Mario Brothers 2 is an exception. Because, first of all, Super Mario Bros. 2's combat system was more favorable than this one. It was more fluid and frickin' frick. But, nope, not in this frickin' game! This feels frickin' choppy! And, Super Mario Bros. 2 is an exception because Super Mario Bros. 2 is Doki Doki Panic! It was just released in the Americas as Super Mario Bros. 2. That game is an exception! And Super Mario Bros. 2 is actually good! As was Super Mario Bros. 2 The Lost Levels. But anyways, this game, it's supposed to be a, a Mario title, a Super Mario Land title that plays freaking nothing! Like freaking Super Mario Land and Super Mario Land 2, it plays freaking nothing like the original four Super Mario Brothers titles, which includes Super Mario World, by the way. But, anyways, and get this okay, so you can freaking hit the blocks from below, but get this you can also ram into blocks that are on the ground. That doesn't even make any sense! I mean, since when could you do that in a Mario title? Since freaking when? I mean, what the frick? I mean, seriously? Whatever happened to hitting blocks on the ground with a shell? Now you can just ram into them at will? What the frick? Seriously? I mean... <laughs> This is freaking nothing like Super Mario Bros. 3. This is freaking nothing like Super Mario World. This game is just a freaking ripoff. And not, I don't mean a copy. I mean, this game is just a ripoff. I mean, it's a waste of money. I mean, what the frick? I mean, seriously. I mean, this game doesn't even deserve to be called a Mario title. I mean, Super Mario World to Yoshi's Island is an exception because Mario actually plays a prominent role in the game. Does he in this game? Nope! I freaking hate this game. And, oh yeah, get this. They didn't even freaking change the hearts into one-up mushrooms. Wow. Wow, nice job, Nintendo. You friggin' fricks will just say, Oh, but they only did that because it's in black and white. I guess that makes sense, but should, should they have at least put a one-up a one-up logo on the frickin' one-up mushrooms because it's in black and white so people will know that's a one-up mushroom, not a super mushroom, not these freaking heart icons! Rip it off of Legend of Zelda! I mean, not ripping off, but you get what I mean! That's just freaking stupid! I just freaking hate this game. And let's move on. Alright, the story plot. 
So let's see. We've got freaking oh the story plot in this game. You have to freaking you have to freaking collect enough money to buy a castle. What kind of a story plot is that? Are you freaking serious? That's not even a freaking story plot. That's just lame. And oh, you run into Captain Syrup. Seriously? Seriously? I mean, a pirate enemy. Wow. I mean, seriously, if I had a dollar for every single time a series has used pirates as antagonists, I'd be freaking rich! I mean, this is just freaking stupid. Freak Captain Syrup, th this antagonist is freaking nothing like Tatanga. It's freaking nothing like Wario's role in Super Mario Land 2. I mean, this is stupid. The graphics are ugly. Not, not even near as freaking good as Super Mario Land 2. It's a freaking downgrade. It's freaking ugly. I mean, seriously. I mean, I'm not talking about how it's monochromatic because all the Game Boy titles are monochromatic, but a lot of them actually look good. This game freaking does it. Some people say, oh, but the graphical style is cartoonish like Super Mario Land 2. Yeah, but this freaking, not the freaking same art style. They just had to go and freaking, <laughs> they just had to go and freaking make it uglier, make it more repulsive. <laughs> it is freaking nothing like Super Mario Land 2. <laughs> This game will never be anywhere as good as Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. This game is freaking overrated. <sighs> Anyways, let's move on, shall we? The music isn't even close to being memorable. This is just freaking stupid. <sighs> if you think that's bad, oh, it gets much worse. I mean, why? Why does it have to be like this? Oh yeah, and another aspect of the gameplay I forgot to talk about. The power-ups. Unlike the original four Super Mario Brothers titles, including Super Mario World, and the first two Super Mario Land titles, <laughs> freaking the power-ups, the power-ups are just poorly implemented. It just feels like they're there just to be there. I mean, the power-ups are just sloppy. They're just freaking useless. They don't make sense. They're uninspired. And I just freaking hate the power-ups. All of them! I freaking hate the dragon power-up. It's a freaking Fire Mario rip-off. And you know what I'm... I don't even care if it's from the same company. I'm going to call it a Fire Mario ripoff because it is a Fire Mario ripoff. And you know what? Guess what else? We have freaking a jet power up. I mean, I don't even freaking care about the jet power up. Jet power up is just poorly implemented and it just freaking bites. And, I mean, seriously, this is just freaking stupid. I mean, don't, don't, don't even get me started on Bull Wario. Don't get me started on Dragon Wario. Don't get me started on freaking Jet Wario. Don't even get me started on freaking Small Wario. Freaking Small Mario ripoff. I don't even care about this game at all. This is just freaking stupid. I freaking, I freaking hate ev every aspect of this game. Well, okay, the game is enjoyable in some aspects, but overall, this game is just horrible. I mean, this game is way too easy, doesn't offer up a challenge like 
the original four Super Mario Brothers titles, and to be honest, neither did Super Mario Land 1 and Super Mario Land 2. But those games were actually freaking good! Not this freaking game! This game barely has any replay value. You freaking frick say, oh, but what if you don't get enough coins through the first run so you want to play it again? I don't want to freaking play this game again. This game is freaking horrible. Plus, I already, I already collected enough coins through my first run to get the best ending. So there you have it. All right, guys. And, you know what? Frickin', let's see. Let's just see, alright? I mean, there's frickin' hardly anything good about this frickin' game. And you know what? I'm gonna give this fr get frickin' game a frickin' 3.6 out of 10. I frickin' hate this frickin' game. I mean, there are some good aspects to this game but it's incredibly outweighed by the bad aspects i freaking hate this title no one should freaking invest their money in this title i mean if i were you i would rather purchase super mario brothers super mario brothers 2 Super Mario Brothers to the Lost Levels, freaking Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land 2, and especially Super Mario Brothers 3 whenever that comes out on the eShop. But anyways, Super Mario Land 3, Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3, this game is freaking horrible, don't buy it, worst Worst Super Mario Land title in the trilogy. I can't freaking believe this game got its own sub-series. I freaking hate this title. I hate Wario. He's one of my least favorite Mario characters. And freaking... I mean, seriously. I mean, no wonder... No wonder he doesn't appear in any of the Mario platformers anymore. I freaking, I freaking hate Super Mario Land 3. This isn't even Super Mario Land 3. They should have just left Super Mario Land 3 out of the title and just called it Wario Land. I freaking hate this game. Don't buy it. Don't waste your money on it. Buy a Mario title instead. There's freaking nothing like Mario. And goodbye, you fricks.